two and a half months before, the Indian officials, they approached me for a private meeting with a representative from the Indian government. And when he came to Putrajaya in the fourth week of September 2019 to meet me, he said that he is coming after personally meeting and under the direct instructions of the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, and the Home Minister of India, Amit Shah. And he said that he wanted to remove the misconceptions and the miscommunication that is there between myself and the Indian government, and he wants to provide me a safe passage to India. And he said that he would like to use my connections to better the relationship between India and the other Muslim countries. And I said that as long as you do not ask me to do anything against the teachings of the glorious Quran, against the teachings of the Sahih Hadith, and secondly, I do not want any personal benefit. And lastly, as long as it benefits the Muslim Ummah, I have no problem in cooperating with you. And the meeting lasted for several hours. And then he told me that he wanted me to support the BJP government when they revoked Article 370 in Kashmir. And I flatly refused. I said, according to me, revoking Article 370 in Kashmir is unconstitutional and it is taking away the rights of the people of Kashmir. I cannot support an act of injustice and neither can I betray the people of Kashmir. And I saw on the video statements of many Muslim leaders in India when they are openly and completely supporting the BJP government when they revoked Article 370 in Kashmir. I thought to myself, how can a Muslim who has the basic knowledge of Islam do this? I have a message for the Muslims of India. It is noble to speak against injustice. But if you fear a backlash and you're afraid, the least you can do is keep quiet.